Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dez, your Mookup Girl. And in this video, i-review natin itong Mini So Smooth Eyeliner and Eyebrow Pencil. Before I begin with the review, gusto ko muna mag-thank you dun sa mga sumali sa mini giveaway ko. And if interested pa kayong sumali, pwede pa kasi until April 30 pa naman siya. Ilalagay ko na lang yung link ng video sa part na to. So, going back to the review, we are using the Mini So Smooth Eyeliner and Eyebrow Pencil today. And if you're interested to know my thoughts about this, please keep on watching. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Pasensya na kayo sa mukha ko guys. Kasi in all honesty, talagang nakakatamad mag-apply ng makeup ngayon dahil sobrang init. And by the time na matapos ako mag-makeup, malamang hulas na yung foundation ko. And ayoko naman na mag-foundation ng ganito kainit kasi napakapawisin ko nga. Kaya I decided na wag na lang gantong mukha ko na lang yung ipapakita ko sa inyo. Anyway, ito yung product na i-review natin ngayon. It's the Mini So Smooth Eyeliner and Eyebrow Pencil. And binigyan ko ng chance ang eyeliners ng Mini So kasi if you remember, meron akong eyeliner from Miniso na sobrang hate ko before. This time, pinili ko tong product na to kasi 2-in-1 siya. It is for the eyebrows and eyeliner na rin siya. Yung eyebrow pencil niya is in the shade gray and ganito yung swatch niya, guys. As for the length of the pencil, ayan, ganyan siya kahaba so medyo matagal-tagal mo rin siyang magagamit. Retractable yung eyebrow pencil but it does not come with a spoolie so gagamit ako ng ibang spoolie sa video na to. So let's start with the eyebrows muna and gagamitin ko tong marionette brush ko kasi ito yung spoolie na meron ako. Hindi nga pala groomed yung eyebrows ko ha kasi peg ko si Andrea Brillantes. So, ayan guys, yung eyebrow na merong pencil and ito yung eyebrow na walang pencil. Tatapusin ko lang yung side na to ng eyebrows ko guys and then I'll be back for my first impressions. So, ayan guys, tapos ko nang ayusin yung eyebrows ko and what I like about it is that halos kakulay lang niya talaga yung natural hairs ko. Hindi ganun ka silky yung eyebrow pencil niya guys kasi naramdaman kong merong tagging sa skin as I was applying it on my eyebrows. Hindi naman siya malagkit and hindi rin siya gel-like and yung finish niya parang mat lang. What I like about this pencil is that hindi nagbe-break yung mismong um, pencil niya. Kasi nakagamit ako before from Maybelline, kahit maliit na part lang yung nakashow na ganyan, napuputol pa rin yung pencil kasi napakalambot. But this one, very sturdy siya and hindi napuputol. Meaning, mas matagal mo siyang magagamit kasi walang masasayang na product. I suggest that you use this eyebrow pencil with a light hand kasi kapag sumobra talagang parang kakapalalo yung kilay mo, lalo na yung kulay niya ay gray. So far, I can say na gusto ko tong eyebrow pencil with my dark hair and now itry naman natin yung eyeliner kasi guys, meron akong makeup review ng mini so before and yung eyeliner na ginamit ko sa review na yun sobrang hate ko kaya right now I'm giving this eyeliner another chance and sana hindi niya ako i-fail. This is how the eyeliner looks like. Ma-sharp yung tip niya. So, I believe madali tong gamitin for winged eyeliner. Ito yung swatch niya, guys. And it does not dry down to a matte finish. Medyo meron pa rin siyang sheen. Now, tingnan natin kung smudge-proof siya. No, guys. It's not smudge-proof. Binabasa ko dito yung packaging niya earlier and wala namang claim na smudge proof and waterproof yung eyeliner. Ang sabi lang dito, long lasting color and two functions. Now let's try to apply the eyeliner on my eyelids. Ayan na guys, tapos ko nilagyan both eyes ko ng eyeliner and as far as application is concerned, wala akong problema sa product na to. 
So, isusuot ko tong kilay and eyeliner na to the whole day para makita natin yung lasting power nitong Miniso Smooth Eyeliner and Eyebrow Pencil. It's now 12 in the afternoon and I'll be right back to give you updates about this product. Hi guys! naglunch lang ako. It's 1.40 in the afternoon and nangati yung mata ko kaya kinamot ko and ayan, nag-smudge na siya. Grabe yung pawis ko. Ang init din kasi. So, nung ni-scratch ko yung dito sa corner ng mata ko, ayan, nag-smudge. Yung kabilang side, okay pa naman siya. And yung kilay, intact pa rin naman siya. Hindi naman siya nagsismudge. And hindi nag-oily yung kilay ko. So, okay pa naman siya. Hi guys! I'm back and it's now 7pm and ito na yung kinahinat na ng aking eyeliner. Ayan no, as you can see, nag-fade na siya sa part na to. And then dito din, kasi na-smudge ko siya dahil kumati yung corner ng eye ko. So, nabura na rin yung part na yan. Pero itong part na to, okay pa siya. As for the kilay naman, parang wala namang nagbago. And hindi naging oily yung aking um, eyebrows guys. Ganun pa rin siya. Tapos, um, ano pa bang masasabi ko? This mini so smooth eyeliner and eyebrow pencil is worth it for everyday use kasi hindi siya ganun kamahal and dual purpose naman siya. However, kapag heavy duty yung kailangan mong pang kilay and pang eyeliner, then this product is not for you. Yung eyebrow pencil, marerecommend ko pa siya but yung eyeliner, hindi ko siya marerecommend especially dun sa mga girls na katulad kong sobrang pawisin. Bukod sa pagiging pawisin, sobrang makalikot din kasi ako sa mukha ko guys. So, yung mga eyeliners na nagsismudge, hindi siya para sa akin. Pero considering the price of this product, pwede na siya for everyday use kasi in one product, meron ka ng eyeliner, meron ka pang eyebrow pencil. So, yeah, Ganun yung itsura niya. There goes my thought about the Mini So Smooth Eyeliner and Eyebrow Pencil. Sana guys, nakatulong tong review na to if ever interested kayong bilhin tong product na to. If you think this review was helpful, then please give this video a thumbs up. And if you still haven't, please subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Instagram at Girl. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you on my next video. Bye! Ewan ko lang guys ha, pero hindi si Andrea Brillantes yung naging kamukha ko. Parang si Shin Chan. O kaya naman si Betty Lafea. Alam niyo yung sa Super Mario, yung patrayanggel na kalaban ni Mario.